Carrie, over the years, I've had the opportunity to call you all sorts of names. Some sweet, some loving, and some funny. But for a long time now, I've been looking forward to calling you a few special ones. My beautiful bride and my wife. As long as you have known me, you have always pointed out the many blessings that God has given me in my life. A loving and supportive family, friendships like those that I have with the guys standing beside me today, and work that I love. All of which I will always be thankful to God for, as not everyone gets to experience those. But the one you always left out was you. As I stand here today and look into your eyes, I see the greatest blessing I will ever be given, and that's you. Every other treasure and small piece of joy fades in comparison to you. As beautiful as you look on the outside, it does no justice to who you are on the inside. You are kind, you are loving, you are thoughtful, and you have a servant's heart to name a few of your qualities. You think of and prioritize the needs of others above your own out of a selfless love that God so carefully designed in you to your very core. While all of these qualities make up who you are, they are so much more meaningful to me because they make up who I am not. Where I am lacking, you not only pick up, but also push me to do better. You are my missing piece. Anyone who has a relationship with you should know that it is nothing short of a privilege, whether they call you daughter, sister, or friend. But I can say in full confidence that God's favor has been over me as he has granted me the privilege of calling you my wife. With a gift as valuable as you comes a great deal of responsibility, a responsibility which I know I cannot do justice on my own. So in order to fill the shoes set before me as your husband, I vow to put Christ first in every aspect of our life and marriage so that I may learn to love you and serve you in the deepest ways you were designed to be. I vow to always protect you, to put your needs above mine, and to be your best friend through every stage of life. And with everything that we've gone through that has brought us here today, it can all be traced back to one thing, and that's that I love you, and that I cannot wait to be your husband. Saying that you're my best friend can never fully explain what you are to me or ever to describe the depth of what being my best friend means. It means that you are absolutely everything. Everything I didn't know that I was dreaming of. Everything I was told to wait for. You are the man that I have prayed for for my entire life and dreamed of since I was a little girl. And you have forever changed me and sharpened my desire to grow into a woman who is worthy of your love. I always thought it would be hard to find someone who will love me when I'm scattered in a thousand pieces. But you showed me that you can put me back together every single time. You showed me so much kindness, patience, and love throughout the years. And because of that, I have gained a better understanding of God's love for me because of the way that you love me. I promise to always love you, whether you are in a thousand pieces or just one. And I've written all of this and I've realized that I'm not exactly sure that this is even vows because I feel like vows are supposed to be promises we make to one another. And while I'm sure that I could make a cute long list of things that I could promise you, I know that I'm an imperfect person and that I can't possibly promise to do all those things all the time. But I can promise that I will trust you as my spiritual leader. I will love you through anything life throws at us the best way that I know how. I will honor you and stand by you always and I promise to be true to you, to support you, encourage you, and challenge you. God exceeded all of my expectations, and I can't wait to live the rest of my life by your side. I love you.
Pocket so fat, call me Orbit. Orbit, I mean. Got him with the make them move, I be loaded. I make them be a fan, too. I make them move on. I be loaded. To make them move as I be loaded Why you out here drinking for I just told it Still that same nigga in the foreign but it's stolen Ryan sporty, I can sport it, can't control it I'm doing fraud, I got that bag, yeah, I'm transporting I got that bag on me, yeah, like I'm transporting He dropped the mid take, thought I would have repost it I ain't posted mid take, cause I don't f shorty I be booted to the morning, PM to the morning My little wallet want a bag on me, just want a rolly Hold up don't you owe me, yeah, you owe me, don't it? Like on my island of events on how I stay rolling Tryna diss me, I need you six feet She said she miss me, then she wanna kiss me Damn, I'm so crispy, Zan got me this seat yeah. Trust me, I ain't shy, I keep that glitzy I was spin bent, yeah, yeah, freak speed What the lick read, baby, come and lick me V12, high round and a six feet I be ballin' on you, not a this league Got it standing like an outlet How you out, Chip? I ain't get you out yet I'm so damn fly I, I do not step Yeah, I pop And I pop checks I don't know where I'm going I'm just floating My dog got gun license But he let me hold it All this phone it I do not condone it I be going ham I do not belong it It's a cold that moment, yeah Bought it cause I want it, yeah I be on the corner, yeah The law enforcement man Project baby got no stroller But I keep pushing Shout it love for me to choke her When I'm in that Ain't gotta wait to make them move as I be loaded Why you out here drinking for this? I just told it Still that same nigga in the form, but it's stolen Ryan sporty, I can sport it, can't control it I'm doing fraud, I got that bag, yeah, I'm transporting I got that bag on me, yeah, like I'm transporting He dropped the mid-take, thought I would've repost it I ain't posted mid-take, cause I don't f shorty